Okay, great. So as usual, just let's start from you explaining what you have understood by this week's challenge. And if you can connect it with the last week's challenge, that would be great as well. So who wants to help us understand? Anyone who has read the challenge document and what did they? Okay, Kerot. Um, good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, yeah, because of time, I didn't have the chance to um, present my last week's challenge, but I tried to read uh, this week's challenge, and from what I understood, uh, there is a bot, there is a Telegram bot. So Alakam has uh, developed in the past, and um, our job is to enhance that bot. Uh, it's an ad bot, uh, so it's saying this an ad to different ch channels or the channels. Uh, but this ad, as I've understood, is uh, is based on an LLM, and this LLM. Maybe Carrot's uh, connection got dropped. Um, anyone else until Carrot comes back as well? So who, who wants to continue? Like who understands, you know, what this week's challenge is? And, you know, again, based on your own understanding, it doesn't have to be correct. But help us understand, because I think multiple perspectives are useful for everyone someone who hasn't spoken recently and who can speak now so Ms. Kano, could you did you read the challenge document and what did you understand? So, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. So, just, uh, I didn't take too much time to to read the challenge document, but from what I understood, so there is a Telegram bot, so that's going to be used to post advertisements on different uh, telegram channels so uh, in in this challenge what we are going to do is we are going to create amharic uh, advertisements and for that we are going to accept some inputs um, from the company some information uh, its brand its product information something like that and uh, and also the content history of the telegram channel and from we take that as input for the drug system and based on that we'll to we will try to create an Amharic advertisement for different telegram channels yeah but i didn't read it deeply yeah no i mean that's very good that's that's the point the business objective is clear you have time what's your understanding of current week challenge Okay, uh, so from my third, I, I read uh, what I guess there is a, uh, there is a telegram bot, and uh, on that telegram bot, we provide some kind of uh, uh, commercials for uh, uh, different companies. So what we are trying to do is we gather some information about a specific company, and we generate. Uh, a commercial type of uh, text based on uh, the information we gathered so the commercial will be in a uh, amharic language so that's what uh, i got from the challenge document for now that's awesome. yeah that's good i mean a bit more detail is missing but yeah the overall picture is the same yeah 
Thanks. Okay, Kerot, you may continue. I know you you, you were dropped. Yeah, uh, there's a power cut in my area, but that's why. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, as I was saying, the Telegram bot. So our job is, as uh, as I've understood it, is to enhance this uh, Telegram bot uh, so that we can uh, create content or advertisement for our market users. I do have some quick questions, but I think it's better to ask. To, to ask uh, Maybe after just ask it. Maybe ask okay. it now, just because I, I think I want to understand how much people have understood, uh, so that I can you know run some things. If it's if everyone understood, then I don't have to repeat it. If not, then I will be more okay. So go on, ask. Okay, so uh, from uh, the challenge document, I saw that we are going to use. Uh, a telegram uh, uh, a, a data set from the telegram from i think 12 ch challenges so these uh, ch ch challenges are going to have uh, the messages right so uh, from what i understood is that we are going to create con content from this da data from from people's message so my question is uh, i think we are trying to write a content as amharic based so amharic la language or, or amharic based uh, Amharic leaders or uh, letters, right? So, what if the message that the channels contain, like uh, from the Polytopians, we use Amharic English, like Amharic English in a sense, we write Amharic in a, an English uh, way, right? Like uh, we say Ahun, like A H U N, right? Uh, am I clear? Yeah. So, how are we going to end, uh, uh, ingest that data into our uh, yeah. uh, into our LLM? Yeah, LLMs are, you know, multilingual, right? Even if they say it's very good for English, if you just go now, chat GPT and write in Amharic, it understands, so it answers in Amharic. It's just, it's not as good for as for English. So in general, LLMs don't care about which language. They work on Unicode and then they have, they understand everything. Except the different LLMs are, you know, chat GPT does really okay. Um, and so it's, you know, I think this, the first challenge itself is, yeah, exactly. You can translate with LLM. You can give it Amharic and it gives you English or the other way around. So it is using those elements. Actually, those are creativity. So if you now know the two are different, so just like a hashtag, English is there. If you detect if, if the language is very good, if the LLM, you know, chat gpt is good at or other is very good at detecting english maybe that you can use that one to learn more like you know by separating english and amharic you will be able to understand you know uh, to use it as a training context actually so in a way it's actually you should use a mixed language as well and the telegrams do definitely have a lot of mixed language um and it's your task this week is to really improve the Amharic capability. That means currently, El Lama and others, they may generate, but they are not good in Amharic. And so help them understand by give, by showing them more examples, fine tuning them, you will be able to improve the, the accuracy in that language. And I think what we provide is an okay set of language uh, content, but we recommend actually, that's why it's a group work of like about eight people in one group. So you guys should really work hard to also get other Amharic data. I mean, we will list some references to actually show that. Or you can start also from another attempt to convert Lama into an Amharic one based on uh, Gari logistics. They have done that. You could continue also on that. So it's actually improving. Does that does that make sense? Um, yeah, but or the question question I have is, yeah, yeah, yeah. The question I have is, uh, I know that uh, that chat GPT has Amharic capabilities, but more uh, if you look at most uh, chat channels, the Telegram channel, they they write Amharic in English. Like uh, it's just yeah. like saying, yeah, uh, okay. So I don't think uh, that the, the LLM could understand that because it's not Amharic, it's not English, but it's somewhere in the middle. Test it. So that's right why there. our test. Yeah, yeah it's clear. It's true. Um, I mean, we selected some. I mean, the the channels we gave you are mostly Amharic. 
So that part, but it is an important element that, but you should, the LLM would actually should understand that as well. The LLM would understand if you just give it any garbage stuff as well, as long as you have a pattern. So it, 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 it is, I mean, it may not be good. For example, if you invent a new language uh, that actually is made up of some dots and apostrophes and other some crazy things, as long as you have a pattern, the LLM would actually make sense in principle, but it might not be good. So that's why for some things that it doesn't have that much data, it will not be that much good. So it's your role to make it better. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, understood. It's clear yeah. yeah, it is, it is. Thank you. Okay, great. And other questions, please? Otherwise, I would assume you all understand it and then I can, basically we can, we can be done there. Basilan? <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Uh, right. I was hoping that to get a bit more explanation on what we exactly mean by fine tune. You know, I, I understand it's adding capabilities to uh, to already uh, like an existing LLM, but uh, what exactly is going on there? Yeah, good. Good question. So you, you see you're touching now more part of it, right? So that's what I want. So by fine tune, there are different types of fine tuning, uh, including, for example, you know, the base model. So we almost always distinguish between the base model and then the application layer. So the application layer, it can be trained for actually chats. That means it can understand context. It can understand more of a chat window so that means like the instructions so then there is also an instruction fine tuning then there is a chat fine tuning you know that's suitable for this or for that but at the base model you usually train normally it's a transformer thing that you train to mostly uh, whether it if it's auto regressive that means in the transformer sense again you will learn in the afternoon more about that if you don't know but there is this component decoder encoder uh, part so the, you know all the parts of it's still different types of model and encoder decoder models are combined so that basically means that they have two you know you give them two things one corrupted and one uncorrupted and they they make some uh, cross you know cross uh, basically cross attention while another one which is the usually the auto regressive we call it is the gpt type the, the most common ones are just decoder only that basically means it, it is given only one and then it's just predicting the next one and then trained to be basically to predict the next one accurately from trillions of word sequences now now the model in that the very basic part of the model is that right so you have it's almost always generating with a set of you know you, you have a set of probabilities or a set of a word is that it's predicting for the next one with a certain probability and and you choose the highest probability to show if it's just uh, you know if you want to generate text but so as deep learning is layered in in sequences like in different layers now fine tuning means because you assume that the the model is learning different elements across as it propagates like that means as different layers now, in those different layers that it captures the sequences, whatever it has seen. So it learns about language fundamentally about language itself. And then as well at the layer, at the closer to the output layer or the final layer, it actually learns mostly about, you know, the most important details that makes it the next, pro the next prediction or the next word to predict more. So now that layer usually it's called the you know it captures much more of the language it has seen more than the structure of language itself so when you fine tune usually you fine tune one part of fine tuning is you fine tune on you remove the last layer which is much more you know suitable for whatever the during it's called pre-training for whatever it has seen in the pre-training and you remove that or by remove means you reset the weights and then based on your new data, you train that part only. So if the model has, you know, 10 billion or 7 billion parameters, maybe that part, 
might contain only like let's say a million and then you train based on your data that one so that's called fine tuning so because you are selecting the layer to fine tune or to to train so and then the other components of the weights the majority of the weights are untouched because you assume they capture in general you know um uh, the language structures including amharic so that is one part of fine tuning that's a normal fine tuning then there are actually uh, parameter efficient fine tuning even to reduce further because early names at the last layer might have a really really quite large and you want to you know loading the model becomes hard and all that to to do that so they actually another fine tuning methodology is that you actually don't touch anything about the, the base model but you add new layers or new parameters that you train together with this one and that is called parameter, you know, parameter efficient fine tuning. It's called uh, PF, um, uh, PF parameter efficient PEFT. So basically, it's called. So, and these are all to do one thing: to help it learn more about your data, the one that you are interested. So the one you are fine tuning it with. In our case, Amharic understanding, Amharic knowledge, Amharic language knowledge is the our interest. So we train, we fine tune using that data. Does that answer your question? Um, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, so I get it. So we have a base model and we already assume that the LLM uh, sort of has a layer to understand how language works. So we are training it on the top, on top of that layer with, with our own uh, yeah. set of data. The top yeah. layers, or you can consider them in the latest, this. Uh, path um, you know paved type of models you add just some small components uh, small layers like small additional layers or you can call them additional parameters that would find you normally that can be even for chats for it may understand everything about that but you want it to be for example chats you know it understands more chat language so the chat language is usually like assistant system, this, that, you know, the way it, it should answer is also different. In that case, for example, that's called instruction fine tuning. So you basically instruct it or chat fine tuning. So in your case, depending on what you want, whether you want the base model to have more capability, in that case, a lot more of you are adding some, you know, either additional parameters or the top layer. Uh, or if it's and then on top of that, you can actually do second training. On chat. So, for example, you give it a cap Amharic capability now, and then you then you fine tune that for chat, right? For some form of generation, like, and that is another. So you can have multiple fine tuning on top of each other. Does that answer your question? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Other questions? I think we can go through. But let me maybe just ask me um, as I walk through. Please ask me, and the later, like I mean, I'll just be very fast, and then uh, later we can actually also have a discussion. But so it is, without exaggeration, this is going to be one of maybe hard to to do, and that's why you really need to be efficient in your teamwork, and um, to really understand there's so much out there. It's not the lack of content; it's um, you know you can ex nowadays you can have, you can find videos and blogs that will explain this thing for maybe you know uh, a kindergarten um, person so in in part it's not the lack of it it's actually it's so much that you have to be very focused and really understand the objective and get and you know clear understanding and and strategy with your team okay i i can't over emphasize the what that means like that's for that reason we allow you also to actually get group each other uh, so that that grouping becomes a competition like you know creates everyone just come together and build a group so that you can build this thing together with people that you can work with right and i think you should be accommodating everyone i mean it would be not good just if only friends just join and everybody is a friend here so but i would say just instead of us assigning, you can assign uh, when, you know, you can assign yourself, just randomly select a group and then there and talk to people 
to get to join that group so this this just um table will give you that opportunity let you know put your name and let other people join and you know basically um convince others to join your group you know make sure that you get you know a good group and advocate for that group so that you really this work is a lot of work this week's and um depending on how we are proceeding we might extend it as well for two weeks type but this is a very large project because it involves a lot more computational elements understanding different components and and the, the data itself is not you know sufficient so you might source your own data and all that so i think with that basically the the objective has been stated very clearly it is about creating uh, an ad a text gen you know generating amharic text in the form of promotion or ad um, on telegram types so that means telegram types if you think of, if you see them the data they have lots of emojis that you know they you, you use lots of emojis as well as also some form of let's say styling it's a very small styling it's not too rich text as much but there are certain things and generating basically an attractive uh, ad and telegram and uh, with the language and it this would have been just a simple rag if it was in english but it's beyond that because we are trying to do it in Amharic and we can do it that one the same thing in Swahili and other languages as well so it's just that we were able to collect data for Amharic so by we actually this is inspired like the the project actually came from another company that is uh you know based in, in Addis and it's its name is called Atem and they want to exactly basically they want you to, to help them to do it uh, the work right so the objective is clear and there are a number of inspirations uh, for this project so the most one that is um, useful is Lama to Chinese as well as there is also another one I think I should have attached uh, the same is another Lama to for Chinese um, and alpaca data type so these are basically if you look at those you really see what they do they go really deep into using because Lama is one of the most popular open source uh, uh, LLM from uh, Facebook and it really has been instrumental to open up all the open source um, uh, LLM space so I think that they are doing really well uh, this Lama to Chinese is doing really well and so you can get inspired what they do and the different elements they do if you want but that's a, a, a really big project as well the data it's provided in this format so i think you should understand it clearly and there will be also a walkthrough on the data tomorrow and for your pre-processing uh, of your data a suggested folder structure is this one and i think you know the really expected outcome there is going to be a very heavy use that you have to use uh, uh, hugging face apis and platform and you learn about how to do it's a skill it's not just only understanding how to fine tune and deploy LLMs, and you will have skill on it uh, on using multiple GPUs for parallel training and inference, and you will have also basically working knowledge. With you know, you will work with deep learning frameworks, PyTorch, or including the you know the, some of the um, hugging face uh, models are actually trained either TensorFlow or, or that depending on your choice uh, or PyTorch, and then also you will learn about Amharic in this case it can be Swahili or other basically non English text processing and then definitely that means you are going to be proficient uh, you're increasing your proficiency in python programming and in pump engineering in terms of knowledge you will understand what how transformers work and this is key just so that at least you may not understand the depths of it but at least the components and you know what does it mean the vocabularies around transformer models you know encoder decoder you know attention uh, multi-attention heads and all of that should be easy and then auto regressive and all of that should be easy and then you should be able to tell uh, the story about you know which class is gpt4 and which class is bert you know which class is falcon you know some, some you will be able to understand between different models explain people and also how charts work like how rugs actually work with respect to the models you know like what does what did gpt or what did OpenAI did to build their chat gpt or their other models like you know gpt4 
So you'll be able to really understand to tell not only just you know the, the top layer, but also that from the mechanics layer. Oh, they have fine-tuned their model, their base model. Chat GPT is you know fine-tuned with chats, uh, fine-tuned instruction, fine-tuning, and this and that. So you will understand that. Uh, you will basically have uh, you will understand how to work. You know the concepts related to natural language processing and machine learning and AI in general, and all of that in the group I mentioned. So in the instruction, we try to really make it, you know, very verbose so that you don't have to read all of them, maybe, that as long as you understand, because you don't have time. But we went to really see how much we can reduce your search. I think the many of the references we gave you and the kind of structure should be sufficient, especially um, especially about the, the ideas and concepts. For the data, you should be given that you're going to be a large group you should really, really uh, find more data to help you. But basically, the kind of the structure, you know, is the structure of the work is going to be a lot more. First, understand the LLM landscape as of January 2024. Don't worry, right? At that, when you start, what it means that this different model, Mistral, Falcon, you know, um, uh, Llama, Pyjama, and all that. I mean, there's much more out there. And, and some of them are just basically a fine-tuned version of the same model, base model. You know, Mistral on its own, there is, and Phi from um, uh, Microsoft, there might be a lot on top of it, and, and many can be just derived from the same model. But just have that understanding where, you know, which one is. So there is a reference also, and it's called the basically LLM boxing, as well as also LLM um, leaderboard to check also what is currently the top one and who has been top, which models has been top over time. You can also understand, just to have an understanding. And then I think go into the building blocks of LLM base models. So basically just understand roughly what is encoder, decoder, and encoder decoders. And then, and how much they are trained in each of these models and the reference, you, you get an idea, you know, how much uh, consume, how are they trained these base models? You know, most of them are trained really on very large 300 to 3000 uh, really latest uh, uh, GPUs, um, let's say H500 from NVIDIA or A100 with 80 gigabyte or and like that, right? So, the, or some of them just on the 20 gigabyte, basically A10 GPU, but with a really number of them. In particular, that one you would see Falcon is like that. So, you really just have an idea how much memory it took and how much compute and GPUs it took for pre-training and fine-tuning of this, some of these models that you have seen in the you know, landscape. And then also just understand the difference between instruction fine-tuning, chart fine-tuning, and base model, so that helps you. And then again, when you, you know, that your task, another task is to understand the key components of LLM training and fine-tuning, in that basically what is supervised fine-tuning, parameter efficient fine-tuning, as well as also, I think this one should be here, low rank adaptation. These are just a way to make it, um, you know, fine tuning cheaper, uh, both in terms of like that you can do it in one GP. And then also learn uh, on the best content that open source models and their variations. So the most ones that are like very common that you will see is Mistral, Llama, Falcon, they become really the, the, the top. They have been a, a top now. The most the top is probably Mistral, but it used to be Llama, and then before it used to be Falcon, and then before that also Llama. And then recently, just for a very small stable AI, which you know, like at Mid Journey um, uh, Crater, it's called a stable AI, has released also their stable LLM uh, 2, which is a 1.7B, uh, I think 1.6B actually. Uh, parameter and then they also open llama that was from berkeley that was actually released in different versions to content with actually the llama which was not open source at that time which was facebook so, okay so just at least these ones would give you an okay you know mix of what is there but whatever you understand understand and then explore hugging face documentation because you're going to be really using hugging face for everything you do here in fine-tuning elements so understand the hugging face embedding examples, test them, play with them locally in your machine, test hugging face small LLA models, uh, as well as also understand the data loading uh, modules, quantization modules, parameter efficient modules, 
LoRa modules. Basically, these are ways and then generate techniques to reduce, in general, that's basically the general techniques to reduce memory and fine tuning efficiently with optimal trade off among memory speed and accuracy. And understand and prepare also Amharic data set for uh, fine tuning. You will understand what I mean because the data set that you need to prepare uh, for fine tuning will be slightly different. So, you, you know, because there's the concept of uh, tokenization. So, tokenization basically means converting your text into numbers in such a way that those numbers indicate in your dictionary list, you know, you know, one means, okay, the number one dictionary word. So, your dictionary can be made really right now, like the dictionaries that are available on um, uh, OpenAI may be very different from uh, Lama and others. So you may need to create your own tokenization basically for Amharic such that, you know, you'll understand what it means tokenization as, so understand those tokenizations. And then basically select an open source LLM model and fine tune it, and then build the RAG system. Basically, whatever you have done last week, do it on your, uh, on your own model to generate, for example, add taglines that can be posted in Telegram. So basically these are the, you know, address the objective. The objective is this one. It's just as one task, but before it, you have to do a lot. And then maybe then deploy that one with a simple front end, Streamlit or a React page, okay? So for task one, it's really all about understanding. In, in a group, really review, break down, and really discuss, really spend time there. It will, it will be worth just to have a clear idea and strategize what to do, even if you don't understand much of it. So a lot of the you know the references here helps you really to to get the the ground going. So it's basically key terms and references, background knowledge, and everything is there. So basically, and also just some of links to just directly go to the Hugging Face documentation and others will be here. <coughs> and then in task two, really then load models from now. In this case, would be we will provide um, uh, GPU enabled. Uh, either collab or just will give you access to uh, AWS. So by the end of today, you will have that. But tomorrow, you should start really experimenting with loading some of these models and infer, you know, doing inference. Not only that, your first task in this one should be to build the rank, the last task, actually using existing OpenAI one. You have access to OpenAI. We will probably provide you as well with uh, API key use, uh, for BART, basically the you know, the Gemini uh, series of Google, so that you will test before you do anything, even on your own, you will build based on that, the same thing. And you that, that will be that will be your reference, your baseline, okay? So that you then next will be able to uh, evaluate it. So that evaluation you did last week will help here as well. So you first, just before you do many things, just using OpenAI API key as and then uh, Google Bart, maybe just, do the RAG system. You know, part of your team should be building that so that you have a, a clear understanding what is expected if you don't do any uh, any fine tuning. Okay, and then on task three is basically your data preparation. Again, you should be breaking down and doing in parallel everything. So that would be like, these are suggested kind of processing, but you can follow what they have done also. There is another group, it's called Gary Logistics. They have done for Amaharic using Lama too. You can follow their blog and their code as a starter as well, just to do that. And uh, basically that fine tuning, as I said, this is their code, the Gari that they used to, to generate Amaharic Lama, um, Lama 2 to fine tune it. So you can test their model as well in your GPT, um, in your collab or in you know, whatever platform we give you. And then these are other parts that, that are, that you can use as a starter because they, they, they will, they have codes and, concepts, everything that is related to what you are trying to do. And so you may choose each group, I would say, don't choose only one. I would say maximize, I mean, like one should choose Llama, the other one should use Falcon, the other one should use OpenJAT, and the other one should choose Stable LM or Mistral. Because this way that each group, when you write blog, then you really compare and that means we explore. So. <clears throat> If it is taken, if somebody already takes it and puts that model, as you can see in the group, I have assigned which model you have selected, a uh, base LLA model you're going to work, just, you know, compete in whatever. If, if group one chooses Mistral, don't try to choose Mistral um, unless it's really that 
that's what you want to do but i would say diversify <clears throat> and um so with that with the data processing and fine tuning and then basically building the rack is basically requires once you have everything this is exactly the case task five you should do it in task two with api keys first just as a baseline this one you will do with task five is once you have your your basically open uh, fine-tuned open uh, LLM, op open source LLM. The schedules, we're going to be adding more as um, depending on the thing. So already just the schedule, there are very only few, two. Uh, but on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, depending on request, we will be assigning tutorials as we go. OK? And some other references you can add, and we will add here as well. OK. So I hope that was a very good understanding and uh, task submissions are as usual and by Friday we will decide but most likely just do whatever you can we might not uh, extend it but we might depending on how much progress and how much promise there is we might start uh, we might think about adding another week on top of it so that we can build end-to-end -end. because this is going to be like really really there are lots of concepts you understand you know rugs you understand fine tuning you understand the base models and all that this will help you really um, put your cv really better so put everything you have there um, because once you understand this every other thing you will do will be straightforward and you will really deliver a good work okay okay is there any one two question Um, okay, yeah, Rudolf, um, go on. Okay, thank you, Yabiga, for your explanation. Although your explanation, uh, I'm still uh, struggling with uh, understanding in my head. <laughs> so, uh, I want you to help me to have the the big picture, and um, as we have done, you know how to. Uh, implement a, a RAG system. So the first part of the project will be to to implement a RAG system by using the data you have provided, the data which is in uh, Amara, uh, Amaric. Amaric. Yeah. Yeah, Amaric. So this is the data we will provide. I mean, this is the data we will uh, retrieve all yeah. in our so RAG system. Yeah. Okay. So good. there, there, there should be, you know, ads there as well, political and some other texts there. <coughs> so basically, using you could really compare the ground truths if you classify by hand, even from there, ads, and you know you simulate. So we don't give you in that case. You simulate the campaign information. And then basically using your rag that you built last time, you know, generate it using let's say OpenAI key, OpenAI uh, API, and then compare with these ones. You know how much sensible um, you are gonna get. For you, you can do some translation on Google. Sometimes the Amharic if it doesn't make sense for you, but because you're gonna be in a group, they will also help you to understand the language. But you know, already Google Translate, if you just copy the Amharic into Google Translate, which should give you an idea in English. So, okay. so the part is really, you, at first, just so that you, you understand, build the demand, the objective using, you know, without any fine tuning, using just OpenAI or BART. I think if we were able to give you the BART API, you will also try it with that one. But with OpenAI, just what you did yes, last time, try to do that and again i know some of you might might have been struggling last week but this is your opportunity to understand them because you're going to be in a group really 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 become you know uh, if someone understands the rug system in in your group just make them make sure that you talk to them you understand you know really this is you know forget about only jobs but it's like this is amazing right you can build in your own language anything so make sure you really put effort and don't get you know offended just discuss in your group really extensively and learn and share and that way understand first track then you will understand fine-tuning the concepts are a lot so 
it needs a lot of discussion. That's why we are here to help as well in the tutorials. Okay, okay, good. Because uh, yeah, I, I didn't finish. Okay, so yeah, but, as you, you said uh, last week, uh, I I I tried to do what I can do, but I was struggling with the uh, the the evaluation and uh, the ranking. So it, this time it will be a, a good opportunity to exactly to catch up to catch up yes. that part. And by yeah. the way, I would like to. You, as you are here with us, uh, uh, I will ask you uh, what what you mean by when when you talk about uh, ground truth. What does yeah. it mean? It, it means apart... so in a, in, a, in a normal machine learning, ground truth means what you you know the label. <clears throat> if you have like <clears throat> in supervised training, you will have some label, right? So, for example, for classification task, this is cat, this is dog. <clears throat> so basically yeah. the cat and dog is the ground truth and then ah, the target the target exactly what is that so that's the ground truth so if someone asks a question the ground truth is what ideally you want the, the answer to be of course in text okay. this is it's very different because you know dog uh, you know it's dog and cat whatever are categorical variables here is a text so therefore usually that um, you know, uh, computing the evaluation must be done on, on, on semantic level. Semantic means by concept instead of just by text. In the actual classification for dog and cat, usually you just say, you know, because it's like it's a categorical variable and you index it, you basically one hot encode it, so you know exactly which one it is. Here, there is no one hot encoding. Therefore, you know, you should be doing some semantic similarity to compute. But it's really the target. Does that make sense? By yeah, ground it makes, truth, yes, it makes sense with the ground truth. Oh. So, okay, yeah. I I continue to with uh, some question. I mean, the, with the flow. So, yeah. So when we finish with the by retrie by retrieving uh, content, uh, this similarity from our data source, which is a. Uh, uh, so in this case, yeah, you have to be you have to be careful. So we haven't provided. A, a, a label what is an ad and what is not an ad so in principle you are just basically say let's say by hand your team should collect some ads from what we provide or anywhere else and they say we want to generate for a brand they should write just like you you did for this week write a prompt say like i want to generate a, you are an ai assistant that generates amaric ad um and examples are here like this please generate for a brand of that and a brief that means that the product description that i want is this please generate an ad uh, with five lines or more not more than 100 characters uh, uh, of an amharic ad for this product that is what you're gonna send for you know for the llm for open ai and then see how much it can generate so okay. that that part is so the one that you you will use in this case will be the rug part is to much more understand, you know, if you had, if we, if we have given you a lot of briefs and brand, then you should select from that. So in this case, we are not. Therefore, it's much more of prompt engineering more than rug, the first thing you will do. But later in the application, when you build it, it should, you know, we will, the brand will give you products, their brand Bibles called or about their brand, as well as about their product. So then you have to select the right information there. That's a pure proper rug. The first one you do is more of prompt engineering. That means you write prompts to generate based on OpenAI uh, API. Does that make sense? Um, no, really yet. Uh, I got a little bit confused at the end. <laughs> because I think, yeah, it's like you are, you're trying, we, we, the, the data we gave you is just a training, a fine tuning data not a document that you search for information mm -hmm. so for that reason you are because you don't have you know usually rag means there is a retrieval inside it here there's no something to retrieve you have to just write yourself a prompt to generate a maharikad that's called prompt engineering if you, if you are not retrieving okay. something information selecting this is just prompt engineering okay 
Yeah. So it will get clearer. In your team, you can discuss and you can ask us if that is not clear. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. So Alexander asked fine tuning of LLMs in traditional machine learning algorithms like decision tree, the same or different. I don't know by Dharmi, but it's the same. If you are fine tuning also normal, um, you know, machine learning based on the, the same weights, let's say the uh, random forest kind of weights on top of it, you add some something. But normally, because of they are not a layer, it might be harder. But yeah, you can fine tune. Normally, MLPs like this, uh, you can any deep learning you can fine tune. So it's in that sense, it's similar. Uh, if that makes does that make sense, Alexander? Is that the question? Okay, fine. Well, hi everyone. Can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, my battery is running out, so I might cut off in the middle. So I'll, I'll try to make it quick. Yeah. So from your explanation, I'll, I'll try to summarize it and maybe you can correct me. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is choose a model. That's an appropriate model for this project. And we're going to fine tune that to understand the Amharic language. And after that, we're going to build a rack system with the data provided so that it can give us the appropriate pods. In yeah, but not with the data provided. So the rug is not with the data provided. So for the rug, we will probably give you some data, uh, but this one is for fine tuning because this is much more a collection of data that will help you fine tune, not to build rug. By building rug means if you have context that you want to retrieve and then use it in argument and then generate. So that part we will provide some data sets. So Think of it, the data we provide is for fine tuning, not build the rug. That's that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, but your understanding is in that sense correct. But by the first task, I mean, you mean the whole, the core of the project, you are right. But as we progress, I think I want you to first see how much the APIs, the OpenAI, uh, OpenAI and Google are doing well in Amharic already. So that will be your baseline. So you will work, you will start there understand the concept and then exactly the core of the project is what you mentioned okay so the, i mean i'm thinking like the main part is the fine-tuning part right yeah i Knowing mean exactly it's tune. basically generate i mean uh, think of it the objective is the main part the objective is to really generate an amaharic text that really makes sense based from given some information about you know the the, the advertiser as well as the product and as well as the campaign plan so that's the project if, if if anything can address that that's good but you realize you know the or the api open ai and google might not give you that same quality so you need to really fine tune so the core is the objective the business objective you want to really create the same thing that you would do in english in Amharic. so that's the objective but given that there is no that much model out there to help you that you do it yourself I mean, yeah, like, but if the model is not good enough to generate, you know, Amharic or understand it, you know, the whole project would be, you know, for exactly. nothing else. Yes. So in that case, yeah, the fine tuning becomes the core. But the core usually is because the business objective demands it, not just you want to fine tune it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mubarak? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you uh for now i don't have a question but like uh, uh, for the last week project yeah uh, we got questions and uh, somehow the idea was unclear after we review it uh, clearly and in detail so for the today's project too we may uh, we may have a question based on uh, or after uh, reviewing it so maybe uh, it will be good if you join uh, tomorrow's stand-up yeah i will i will join so because this is we're going to be working together as well uh we are also implementing together with you like i mean we in these cases atom is going to help as well to try to and people have been working already on it and uh, so we'll try but i will be there to answer and uh, you know depending on if you maybe that tomorrow morning is better read and have prepare each group should have their question, you know, prepare, like really, really, you know, uh, just in your group, make sure you really discuss and everything, prepare questions. Tomorrow morning, let it be the Q&A for any question that you don't understand. 
and so prepare for that yeah okay thank you yeah okay good um rudolf is that a new question or that from before yeah it is a new one okay so from the last week uh, one of my challenges was regarding api uh, key from open ai so uh, i'm fi the 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 issue i was facing was insufficient quota so my question is to know in if uh, in this week we will be fit will be i think insufficient having... quota means you are not using our the key we provide if we use if you use the key we provide it should not have that issue because i don't think anyone has faced that issue if they did then we will again check but we will provide api keys uh, hopefully even for google this time so that you can compare both open ai and google okay hopefully if you work this time for me uh, yeah. i really appreciate yeah, because that because you're going to be yeah. in a group really make sure you know to synergize and you know yeah so everybody should be the leader of the group even if there is you you will have to assign one person but that person must not be you know chasing people but everyone please collaborate and make sure that your group really shines right because doing this would really help you nail a lot of elements that will come um you know for more like there will be lots of projects and having good having done and understood in this project well really will help you across and and you have to know the whole world is changing to this and in the next projects there will be you know now just like you have app store uh open ai is building gpt store right so basically you build your own apps there you know it's called gpt build and then a lot of it everything that you know will will start converting around ai so having this this is your really baseline and do well of course if whatever you don't understand here you will understand later but make sure to really work and invest your time here and if you are busy and not in a group and you know it's not gonna be helpful so really be proactive in your group really if no one is there to organize be the organizer you know help you may be you may not understand some things you and you may understand something share and make sure that everyone proactively contributes to the group i think this will be a defining moment i would say in your 10 academy training because after this if you don't do that much here it's gonna get harder and harder not easier okay awesome okay. thanks guys and i think uh so lillian asked how to uh device to divide the work within the team i think i would say you know the first part is like already the components somebody should work about you know the llm you know the references like the hugging face and the you know just whatever is there um read and let's say within a cup a six hours period come back and discuss everybody should share what they got and everybody should generate for that person a question and then by tomorrow you should have a clear understanding okay um you know what needs to be done and you have understood the challenge or whatever you don't understand you have a, a group a collection of questions from the group right so that part is one and the second is given that a lot of you know the resource will be a limitation that will not give you that many gpus so you have to start really trying different methods for example somebody should work on hugging face data models you know processing the other one on just basically uh, testing the llm uh, just using open ai and google and then this and that and then come back together demonstrates uh, on a group for everyone and then you know continue like that and then another one deal the front end and another one you know on inference so it's basically this com divide just we have to try to divide the tasks even within a task subtask so you can follow that division but i would say discuss and if you have any question also on that ask it tomorrow if you have issues also on how to break hopefully lillian that uh, helps but uh, really make sure in your group you become the leader like you know of course assign a leader to organize whatever but if that person is not doing well just become the leader don't let just a few people in the group to you know to not you know to make the group uh, as we have seen it and you know now how hard it is to to work in a team so you know don't don't think it's going to be easy and therefore everybody should be really proactive okay and it was i'm very sorry for 
the video really taking so much time uh, today, but I hope that was helpful at least because the other people's presentation was also useful for you to understand. So hopefully with that, but um, yeah, good luck and let's, I will be in the morning, so prepare questions in a group. Thanks everyone. I